Hey Libra, this is Bella Dutch from All Seeing Eye Tarot here with your bi weekly, it's about a week and a half. This is running from February the 18th through March 1st. Okay, um, I know you guys are used to me doing once a week, but I'm just gonna finish out the month like this. Okay, now all the videos are separated, so you may say, Well, Bella, how are we gonna win in 30 minutes? Very simple. You need to go on every zodiac sign. Watch that video. Okay? See when I start shuffling. When I start shuffling, grab that time, put it in the comment section under that video. It doesn't have to be all together because these are not all together. Okay? Very simple. All right? Let's go. Libra, sun, moon, horizon. Spirit and universe, what's the message you got for Libra, sun, moon, horizon? February 18th through March 1st. What's going down with Libra? Here we go, Libra. All right, first card out. Three of Cups. Seven of Cups. Okay. Ace of Cups. Under Three of Cups, we got Four of Wands. Under the Seven of Cups is the Sigil. This is the Temperance card. I mean, I said Sigil. Said he, sorry. No, I said Sigil. Under the Ace of Cups is the Five of Cups. Under the Four of Wands, we have the Knight of Swords. Under the Sid He Temperance, we have the Sun. Under the Five of Cups, the Chariot. It's the Battle Wagon on this card. I'm using the Green Witch Tarot, just in case you ask. Overall energy for my Libra Sun, Moon Rising. Six of Swords, and I always take the card right up under that, and we got the Four of Swords. Let me fix these. I feel like they're not in the screen. Okay. Okay, so as I'm touching these cards, there's a feeling that's coming through, so I'm going to talk about it, okay? I feel like, Libra, that you have been fighting very hard for your family relationship, right? Maybe it's not turning out the way that you wanted it to turn out. The saying I'm hearing in my ears is a house divided against itself cannot stand. All right. And there are some battles that fighting doesn't help. Doesn't help. All right. This is one of those situations where you don't have no choice but to separate. You should separate because a house divided against itself can't stand and you and your partner is no longer on the same page. Okay. That's why you should separate, all right? Now, you might be worried. You know, that's a hard thing when Spirit says to you, you know, um, this situation is no longer bearing fruit. This is a dead thing. God washes its face and moves on. Um, and you're still sitting there and you're still praying that God makes it work and God is already over the situation on to the next, okay? That can be very hard. I know a lot about that. I am probably the queen of being able to wash my face and, and move on from a situation. I don't ponder over anything. When God is done with the situation and I don't no longer see God involved, that's the time where I wash my face and I get going. Okay? Now, you might say, well, Bella, I don't have anywhere to go. Once I leave this situation, what's going to happen? What What do I do? Okay? Um, what you're going to do is you're just going to literally sit back and just... Relax. You leave the situation. You move in with family members. You leave the situation. You move into your own house that you've been already preparing for. You leave the situation and you got to move to a different state, whatever the case may be. But the provision will be there. Six of swords. Okay. So what do you mean the provision will be there? What I'm saying to you is sometimes in life. You go through situations that you don't understand. You're giving your all. You're trying to make the situation work out. You're fighting constantly. 
All right. Your partner's telling you, you need to change this, this, and this about yourself. So you didn't already went to a counselor. You didn't already changed everything about yourself that your partner had an issue with. And yet, and still, when you look in your relationship, it still does not seem right. Okay. Because we got a conflict of interest. What's the conflict of interest, Bella? Well, they're telling me to fix myself and I fix myself. But then when I fix myself, it doesn't fit with the person that they are because they are not fixing themselves. I'm going to say this, and I say it probably all the time, Libra, and if you don't get a lot of readings with me, then you probably don't know this information. You don't know this knowledge, okay? Relationships, every relationship, romantic, family, friendship, relationships are about the elevation of the self, knowing thyself and everything about thyself wisdom helps to fix any issues that make you feel less than god make you feel less like god make you feel that you are not a part of god all right so relationships come into your life to simply trigger issues within you that need to be fixed or teach you issues within you that need to be fixed okay so once that dynamic is compromised what do you mean compromised Bella well once it gets to a point to where I'm fixing all of me and you're not fixing anything of you there's a narcissistic twist here you know it's not imbalance so while I'm fixing everything about myself the issues I told you that you have you're not fixing instead you want to argue with me and keep throwing everything in my face that I do wrong when I feel that it's time to discuss something with something that's wrong with you. Okay? So that's the situation. I need you to listen to it. Okay? Maybe rewind the tape and, and hear what I said to you. It's compromised when you can no longer teach that person something and they can't teach you. All right? When it becomes one-sided. Because anybody that's been in a relationship for a long time knows that it's only so far or so long it'll go with you constantly throwing in my face all my flaws. And then when I ask you about your flaws, you constantly reflect back to my flaws, okay? Eventually, the situation is going to separate, and it needs to separate, because there is no longer teacher, student, the luminescent, the eight sign. I see the eight, the number eight sign turned on the side, and I see an even flow of liquid going back and forth through that eight sign, Okay. When the situation is compromised, now it's split down the middle. And no longer are you learning anything or your partner is learning anything. Therefore, causing for an immediate breakup. This is where breakups come. Now, a lot of people get focused on the way you broke up. You know, he cheated on me and left me for another woman. She cheated and left me for another man. Screw all that. Okay? At the end of the day, Linda, it, it's over. When you compromise with God, with God, the big dog made for the purpose of relationship when you compromise that thing when there's no longer teaching teacher student student teacher going back and forth between you you no longer have a relationship the thing is split and god is going to separate god's gonna wash its face and, and move up <laughs> excuse my language and move on this is real this is very real I lost a lot of people in my life, a lot of very important people, my husband, all kind of people I lost, okay, because that teacher-student dynamic was broken, and there's no longer any purpose to stay in that relationship, because see, it, what you'll learn is if you stay in that relationship past the point of being out of order, and remember, anything that is not flowing back and forth is out of order, Okay, if you stay there, what you're going to learn is that now someone has begun to suppress how they truly feel. Okay, they're, they're suppressing it. And now when you ask them how your day went, oh, it went okay. Do you want to go eat, babe? Uh, yeah, what's cool? We can go eat. What you want to eat, babe? Whatever you pick, it's cool. Okay, honey, um, yeah, I was going to make this decision to do this. Oh, okay, go ahead. Well, I wanted to see how you felt about it. I'm good. If you go with it, I'm good. You hear what I'm saying to you? That is not 
your partner being in love with you. That is not your partner being happy with you. That is your partner shutting down on you. Okay? And you could almost guarantee, almost expect a breakup is imminent. It's on its way. All right? So, what's the purpose of this message, Bella? Well, the purpose of this message is that I am here to help you to understand why you're praying for a situation that no longer gets better. All right? I'm giving you the answer to the question you keep asking God. Should I leave it? Is it over? Will it be fixed? Can it be fixed? Um, is it time to be done? Do he love me anymore? Do she love me anymore? Are they cheating on me? I'm answering your question right here. If any of those signs is imminent, if any of those signs are relevant in your situation, you notice your partner has shut down. They don't share with you. They're not honest with you. You're sleeping in separate beds. This person gets off of work and they're sitting in the car for hours before they even come into the crib. Your situation is compromised and it's time to let it go. And I want to talk to my people that are afraid to let it go. If I let it go, do I have someone else, Bella? If, it, if I let it go, is it over? Am I going to be single for the rest of my life if I let it go? If you're wise enough to walk away from it because you realize it's now becoming a drain, it's, it's vampire energy at this point. If you're wise enough to be able to walk away from it and say, thank you, Lord, for the experience, then you have someone coming in that will lead you the rest of your journey. So you might say, well, Bella, I can't see it. Oh, well, you're not going to ever be able to see it, Linda. I can't see it either. Okay? You're not going to be able to see it. You're not going to be able to see how it's going to turn out. Oh, my God. Am I going to leave this person? Am I going to be homeless for six months afterwards? Uh, am I going to meet somebody else in two months? What? You're not going to be able to see it. I just told you. If the goat tells you, I can't see my own shit, what makes you think you're going to be able to see it? For those of you that go to church... Jesus couldn't see it. So it makes you think you can see it. Jesus didn't see how this all was going to turn out. Okay? Jesus didn't see when he was walking with the 12 disciples that in about a year or two, he's going to be by himself and the disciples are going to betray him. Jesus didn't see that. You learn it along the way. It's divine order. It's the way God works period. All right. But I'm telling you, God is no longer in your situation. It's time to wash your face and move on. Thank you so much. Make sure you like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification bell. You want a personal reading? All seeing uh, tarot at gmail.com. Also, you can hit me at belladutch247 at gmail.com to get you a personal reading. I love you so much, Libra. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to donate, uh, the link is up top, okay? Or how to donate is at the top. All I ask that if you use Cash App, just make sure you hit me up in an email and let me know that the Cash App came from you. All right? I love you so much. Until next time, thank you so much.